Good morning, first kids. Hey, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and it was everything that you have to be. And you know what time it is now. You know what that means. Now it's time for Christmas. I know some of you already put your Christmas stuff up like as soon as you uh, put your uh, jack-o'-lanterns away because you know, we all needed a little Christmas spirit as soon as we could get it this year and that's fine. It's the first official Sunday of Advent and we can think about Advent as waiting for God actually in three different ways. First, it's waiting for the birth of Jesus. And the prophet Jeremiah tells us about that in the 33rd chapter, verses 14 through 16. He says this, The time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill my gracious promise to the people of Israel and Judah. I'll rise up a righteous branch from David's line who will do what's just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. But like I said, Advent is also about waiting in a second way. In Mark's gospel, Jesus is telling the people in that community to stay alert because we don't know when he'll be coming back in all his glory. So in the 13th chapter in the 33rd verse, he says this, watch out and stay alert. You don't know when the time is coming. It's just like someone took a trip and left all the servants in church and you don't know when they're coming back. So stay alert. Don't let them find you off guard or sleeping. What I say to you, I say to you all, stay alert. So we have to be ready for when Jesus comes back. A third way that we can wait is for God to show up in our lives, our faithfulness when times are good, as well as when things are difficult, reminds us that God always comes to us when we're in need. 